ask everyone to rate their looks on a scale of one to ten, starting with you. Go ahead. I think it's kind of a stupid question. I don't really like. I think beauty is subjective, for the most part. So. That's true. Okay, I want to ask Sarah here too. Mm-hmm. Sarah, do you have a height preference at all when it comes to men? Um. How tall are you? I'm five nine. Would you date a guy who's five seven? I've dated a guy who's like 5'8". Would you prefer to date a guy who's a couple inches taller than you? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, I mean, so, I mean, you said that the question to ask is stupid, to ask people to rate themselves on a scale of 1 to 10. But, I mean, you're quite literally qualifying or disqualifying men based on a literal numerical uh, metric, a numerical measurement, someone's height, which has absolutely no bearing on their capability to be a good partner to you. Um, so you know, this, this whole idea of, you know, this, this being a stupid question, one, it's sort of like a, uh, a check on someone's degree to which they can accurately self-assess their own physical attractiveness, which I think when it comes to dating is extremely important because, and I won't linger on it too long because I've talked about it plenty of times, but if you have an inaccurate self-assessment of your own uh, attractiveness, you're going to tend to perhaps pursue men who... Uh, I don't pursue men. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one. You are okay. You don't pursue men. Mm-hmm. You okay. You to some degree you are competing for men though. No, I'm not. <laughs> They're competing for me. You think that men are competing to get you, but you don't have competition with other women for like a man that you might. I have wouldn't your eyes compete on? for a man. Like I wouldn't go for a man that I had to compete for. I want a man that wants me. Do you think that you have to do your hair and look nice and pretty and wear makeup and all these sorts of <laughs> things so that you can look pretty so that eventually one of the suitors might think that you're pretty? Yeah, that's not like the whole reason okay. I do it. Well, I also then, just then like you're to look making good. an effort so that you can look good so that a man. Yeah, might I want find people attractive. to think I look good, but that okay, doesn't I'm mean not, I'm not I'm, I. I would like. <laughs> No, but I wouldn't compete with other women for a man if they were like oh, you're other women. Are. You don't have to say that you are or you're not. You just are. Wait, what? You just are. You don't have to say that you are or you're not. You just are because we exist in a marketplace. So that you're, com- you're competing to look pretty so that you can look pretty so that men will find you attractive. And it's not that you're trying to elbow some bitches out of the way, <laughs> but you just are naturally existing in the sexual marketplace. So men are going to find you attractive or unattractive due to their own type and due to how much effort you make and you keep yourself in great shape you look very pretty which is fantastic and you're uh putting yourself in a good posse in the marketplace would you agree i guess so i don't really look at it like a marketplace though it's not you know it's not like a shopping center but it's it's somewhere where you know you want to increase your value and you take certain steps to increase your value and then you can attract the best the best buyer i don't know that's just not really my view on like dating and relationships is that it's like a market and people have their own specific values because I think different people have different p- preferences. Like I want someone who has the same values as me and outlook on like on life and everything. So like what I'm looking for in a man is maybe going to be different than like what the average. Well, what are you looking for in a man? Like I want someone who shares the same values and beliefs as me. Hmm. So like on like very specific things. Well, too, give, so. give me a most important thing. What is it? Um, well, Christianity for sure, like somebody who has a relationship with God. Okay. Uh, I think that's like the most important thing for me. So that's why I'm saying like, that's a completely different value system than maybe like the okay. world has in the sexual market. So would you say that a Christian man to you is more appealing than an atheist man? Yeah. Would you say that if the if we did look at the uh, sexual marketplace or the dating marketplace as a marketplace, he would have be of higher value to you? You'd be willing to do more to attract that man's attention. Yeah, be- but that, isn't that like more subjective though? Yeah, but it's a marketplace, and I go. But then that's if, like if my own lo- personal we, marketplace, right? Yeah, exactly. But it is a marketplace though, because you are looking at men and their qualities and their features, and you're making an assessment on them whether they're a good partner for you, and they're doing the same for you. So you're, you're, you know, like I said before, keeping yourself in good shape, looking very pretty, and then men are going to judge you based on that, and also your internal values as well. So I think we do exist in a marketplace, even, even though we don't want to look at it as somewhere where we can go and check out at the counter. Mm-hmm. It is more... Well, I do think... I want to take back my answer earlier about um, beauty being subjective, because I think it's kind of... Like, I view it kind of 50% in with what you're saying, too. Like part of it is people do have types and people do have specific preferences. Like a lot of people want to have people date people with the same values as them or whatever. Maybe they even just have specific interests that they're mm-hmm. looking for. So, and 
same with attractiveness like what's not, what i might find attractive someone might not find attractive at all like there's some guys that i've dated my friends they're like oh they're so ugly <laughs> yep. but to me right and it, like it's true everyone has different types um so I think it's like 50%, right. honestly, 50% objective, but there's an element of subjectivity. There. I, I, would, I would agree. I think yeah. that beauty is something that's completely unexplainable by any sort of scientific mm -hmm. metric, but it's also, like you said, it's, I think beauty is very objective, but there's also a subjective nature to beauty, to yeah. beauty as well, because we find different things beautiful. But and I also don't think that that necessarily detracts from the fact that we are sort of competing with each other. Not necessarily in a way that you're super conscious about, that you're always thinking about, I gotta compete, gotta compete. But you know, we, it, you, the reason, there's a reason why you're not allowing yourself to get really fat, and there's a reason why you're not allowing yourself to like look really ugly, and why you might set, take care of yourself. That's because you want to present yourself nicely and present yourself nicely to men as well, to potential suitors. You're a young single lady, of course. Yeah, I don't know. I don't view it as like a conscious competition, though. Yeah, I, guess. That's, that's I don't think most people view it like that. Yeah, but. yeah, I would agree. <laughs> Would you would you agree with that? <laughs> um, I personally have never yeah I've never really thought about it that way. Before I met the person I'm with, I really never thought about dating much. Mm. I was focused on other things, and it didn't really appeal to me at all. So yeah, I get it. I get what you guys are saying there yeah. because you know you guys are hold yourself to a very high standard, mm -hmm. and I can understand why you'd have that attitude where you're not thinking about it all the time. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. but I certainly agree that in a sense like the word marketplace is a, it's an interesting term to use for people yeah. but i agree with i think concept. it's kind of just the colloquial term that yeah. gets used but in, it's, in this it's, space. it's the same as like an intellectual marketplace like it's something yeah. that exists amongst a society where we're all like eventually trying to you know populate the world like it's mm. down to a science like yeah. it's, it's true yeah. yeah 